year in May, we take time as a church to recognize formal education achievement. I am hopeful that lots of informal learning is going on, going on with each of us every day. Hopefully we're having our own personal Christian epiphanies as we go through life. But today we recognize those who graduate from high school, college, degrees, diplomas, certificates. And before I call up the graduates, I just want to share with you what we're giving them this year. We've given it's a book. We've given this book before, and over the years we've done different things, but you may be familiar with Randy Posh's last lecture. So getting a copy of this. Randy Posh was a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. When he was 47 years old, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and they told him he got six months to live. This book started out as a letter to his three children, but after his death and publication, it became a worldwide bestseller. And I just think it is an excellent book for our graduates. And I, I ask you uh, that you read it and, and take what Dr. Posh has to say to heart, okay? This year, We're recognizing two graduates, uh, Finn McGinnis. Finn, if you'll come on up. And Finn is graduating from Prince Avenue Christian School, and you have decided right where you're going. Yes, and you're sir. going to Belmont? Yes, sir. And Nashville? Okay. Yes, Don't hang out too much at the Grand Ole Opry. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Anna Green's grandson, Jarrett Green, who is graduating from Habersham Central High School, he's a Raider. Uh, he's not here with us this morning, but I have a gift for him to give for Miss Green to take to Jarrett. Thank you. Ben, I want to give you this, and a couple things I want to say. There's a there's a card in there that is very heartfelt, and one of the things it says is that every adult in this room has been where you are. We've all graduated from some. But this is your journey, and these will be your decisions to make, and they'll be Jared's decisions to make. And just remember that as you make these decisions and as you continue on a journey, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Okay, God bless you. Amen.